Hey, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you 20 ideas and hacks to make your summer more enjoyable and save you some time. I love using trays to get organized. So we have this tray that creates a little drink station. I always leave it out and just fill the pitcher with water or lemonade or our favorite juice so I can quickly bring it outside and the kids aren't running in and out wet bathing suits every time they're thirsty. One of my favorite summer hacks is using cupcake liners to cover the top of your pop can or your glass. I always leave these here on the tray and everybody can select their own color. We use scissors to cut a little X in the top, pop in a straw, and now everybody knows what drink is theirs. And more importantly, it keeps the bugs out. These dollar store platters are amazing for creating little snack stations all summer long. I love that you can fill it up ahead of time, put on the lid so it keeps really fresh, and you can flip the lid upside down, fill it with ice or cooler packs to keep it cold when it's outside. This is just a must have this summer, whether it's your own backyard, you're going on a picnic, or taking it to the beach. Keep your salads nice and cold outside this summer using a dollar store shower cap. Just fill it with ice and wrap the shower cap around the bowl to contain the ice, keep it cold, and make sure you don't have any water leaking. I've had this plate and cutlery organizer for 10 years and I still love it. This is a quick little tip, just corralling all your paper plates, napkins, and cutlery into a little organizer so you can easily bring it in and outside if you're having a picnic, if you're having guests over, or if you just don't wanna do dishes this summer. Just by taking a second to contain your condiments is gonna save you so much time all summer long. Hopefully you have a door in your fridge that has these removable little trays so you can store all the condiments there, but if not, gather them all in a little basket. So every time you're having a barbecue, you simply lift it out and carry it outside. Organize all of your barbecue tools with a little grilling station for $2. Go to the dollar store and just find any of these long little signs that they have. I gave it a quick coat of spray paint and attached dollar store hooks to the bottom. Just hang this close to your barbecue and you can be grilling or chilling. I'm gonna be chilling while Joe's grilling, but everything that you need is organized and close at hand. Toy clutter and pool clutter used to make my backyard really messy, but I love having this storage rack to contain everything like swim goggles and pool noodles and all the water guns are many, many water guns, keeping everything neat and tidy and close to the pool. My absolute favorite hack if you have kids is creating play and walk away kits. This is basically dollar store bins filled with different types of little toys or crafts. Maybe it's Play-Doh or fill a bucket with bubbles. Go outside with your kids and start playing with them with one of the kits. You only have to do this for like five minutes and they'll start to be engaged and you peace out. That's why it's called play and walk away. And then your kids are entertained for hours with each of the kits. I'm gonna put a link down below to all of the different kits that I've created in the past. Everything's from the dollar store and it takes just minutes to make. My favorite outdoor organizer is this fence post. We cut it down, we added some legs and dollar store hooks and baskets so we can store things like sunscreen and bug spray and outdoor citronella candles and the barbecue lighter and wipes and anything that we usually would have to run in and out of the house for, it's all organized right here. If you're like us and you don't wear shoes in the house, a flip-flop bin at your back door is a must. You can leave this out all summer long and fill it with your favorite flip-flops for you and your family. And I also like to buy some flip-flops from the dollar store for guests. So as we're going in and out the back door and playing in the backyard or going in the pool, we always have flip-flops to protect us from the landmines that could be in the grass. I love this hack. Use an old ladder or a blanket ladder for all of your pool towels. Keep it close to the pool so your kids aren't leaving wet towels all over the place. I 
I love these giant dollar store tubs for organizing things in your backyard during the summer. It's great to transport things, perfect for water balloon fights, and storing outdoor games and toys. But my favorite thing to use this for is an impromptu cooler, especially if you're having a party or a lot of people over. Fill it with a few bags of ice and all your favorite drinks to keep everything cold. S'mores are absolutely my favorite summer treat. So every year I create a s'more station and I leave it right on the kitchen counter. Everything I use to make it is from the dollar store. I love having a tray and all of the chocolates in little buckets, a jar for marshmallows, the graham crackers and the sticks. So at any moment I can just pull it outside for an impromptu s'mores night. A quick hack to stop your marshmallows from sticking together is to add some cornstarch. Just one spoonful, shake it up in your bag or in your jar, and you won't have sticky marshmallows anymore. My family really loves going to the beach, so we always have our beach bag packed and ready at the back door with all the things we need. But my favorite tip for packing a beach bag is to make sure that it's mesh so that when you're done at the beach, you can just pick it up and shake out all the sand before you go home. I love this beach blanket. It's huge, but it folds up so small and it really repels sand. So the sand just brushes right off. Big enough for my entire family and it comes with steak so it doesn't blow away. This is a must if you love the beach. Make sure you throw a Pringles can in your bag or a wannabe imitation Pringles can because this is the perfect thing to hide your phone and your money and all the other things that you don't want to get stolen at the beach. Just looks like a regular old food can and no one will ever know. Make sure you pack a lot of Ziploc bags in your beach bag so that you and your family can put your phones inside. This is gonna make sure they're not gonna get wet if they accidentally fall in the water or full of sand, but you can still use your phone so you can surf the internet while your kids are playing in the surf. You also want to make sure that you pack baby powder in your beach bag. This is an awesome hack. Just sprinkle some on your legs and feet when you're all done at the beach and all of that wet sand won't be stuck to you. This isn't a hack, but I definitely have to talk about my cooler backpack. This is an insulated backpack. It's completely waterproof, so you can fill it up with ice or ice packs and all of your favorite drinks and snacks, and it stays cold for days. And it goes on your back. I mean, it's a backpack cooler. I don't have to say that. But trust me, you need one of these. A big part of organization is planning and scheduling, but don't forget to plan some fun this summer. I made you a summer bucket list. I'm gonna put a link to that printable down below. These are all sorts of things that you and your family can do to have fun this summer. Easy things, maybe take turns picking one or two a week and do something memorable this summer. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll do more organizing hacks. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of new organizing videos each and every week. I'll see you then. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I don't have a funny story, but I know a lot of you have been asking about our move. We've been looking for a new house. I, we can't find anything. It's, I don't want to settle. And so we've looked at a lot of homes. There isn't a ton on the market. We don't want our kids to switch schools. So we have like a two block radius and I don't want to live in suburbia. So I'm honestly a little bit sad, but Joe cheered me up. He surprised me last week. He booked us a family trip to Europe. We're going to England and France. I'm so excited. I want you to let me know in the comments below if you've heard of something cool we can do while there. Joe doesn't want to plan. He wants to fly by the seat of his pants and just experience things when he gets there. I am not a detailed person, but I do not want to show up to the Louvre and not have a ticket. You know what I'm saying? So I want to have everything planned ahead of time. Are you a planner when it comes to vacations or are you like Joe and you just want to figure it out on the fly and have a laid back trip? I am definitely curious and please let me know of any suggestions you have in the comments below of where we can visit while we're there. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.